Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an action thriller from 2010, titled, The Tourist. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie starts in the wonderful city of Paris. The French police, working with Scotland Yard, are following a woman named Elise. They are constantly keeping tabs on her, looking for any suspicious activity. As she sits in a cafe awaiting her food, she is approached by a mailman, who hands her a letter. Scotland Yard is on high alert now, since the approaching man is not her usual routine. They apprehend him the second he leaves the cafe. On the other hand, the letter is from a former lover, Alexander Pierce, with precise instructions to catch a train to Venice, find a man who looks like him, and convince the authorities that this man is Alexander Pierce. An unknown figure who isn't connected to the cops, also appears to be keeping an eye on Elise. Elise tosses the note into the fire, and starts to walk towards the train station. The French police, under instruction from Scotland Yard, rushes after her. Elise cunningly times her departure on the train, so that she is the last to enter the train, thus leaving the following police behind. Back at Scotland Yard, they are investigating the mailman they apprehended. The inspector heading the operation, who was tasked with finding Alexander Pierce thinks, that Pierce had undergone plastic surgery, and he is the arrested mailman. However, his commander-in-chief thinks otherwise, and mocks him for capturing the wrong person. He then informs that this operation has cost the department more than Pierce had stolen. Thus, it was not feasible to continue the operation. As instructed by Pierce's letter, Elise is trying to find a man who has the same height and build as him, so that Scotland Yard might think it is him after plastic surgery. After wandering for a couple of minutes, Elise sits across from Frank, a visitor from the United States who is reading an espionage thriller. Frank is smitten with her as soon as he lays eyes on her. The two have an interesting exchange of words, which ends with Elise accepting a dinner with Frank. The two have dinner on the train. Meanwhile, Scotland Yard has tracked them, and are in the same cabin having dinner. They take Frank's photo, thinking he is Pierce, and send copies of his face to the station. Later, they learn that it was a ruse, and Frank is a totally different person, and thus they call off the operation. When the train arrives in Venice, Elise invites Frank to take a boat to Hotel Daniele with her. They check into a grand room arranged by Pierce. Elise addresses Frank as her husband in front of the hotel staff. After freshening up, the two go for dinner. Here, much to Frank's dismay, Elise admits to having affections for another man. They keep on talking about Elise's former lover. Later they head back to the hotel. An invitation to a ball is waiting for Elise, apparently by her lover. This sours up Frank's mood. When Frank compliments her, they enjoy a kiss on her room's balcony, which is witnessed and photographed by the men following her. They both sleep separately, much to Frank's surprise. He dreams about Elise all night, before he wakes up the next day due to the waiter setting up breakfast. When he goes over to check on Elise, he finds out that she has vanished. Suddenly, men attempt to break into the hotel room. They address Frank as Alexander, which confuses him. When the men show that they are armed, Frank understands the danger he is in, and quickly locks himself in the bathroom. Here, he escapes through the bathroom window, with the men after him. Frank manages to get away by racing over numerous roofs, but is apprehended by Italian cops. Frank says that he has no idea why these individuals are chasing him, and he thinks that he is being mistaken for a man Elise loves. Initially, the Italian cops think that he is just telling lies in order to get away, with assaulting a police officer. They lock him up. However, the Italian police officer brings Frank out of jail, and informs him that his narrative is true, and that the guys chasing him are Belarusians, who have put a price on Frank's head and believe he is someone else. The detective, on the other hand, hands Frank up to the same men, in order to collect the money they promised. Frank now understands the danger he is in. He spots Elise, who emerges out of nowhere with a boat to save Frank, and the two depart together. The men start shooting at them, and they weave in and out of Venice. The chase goes on for a long time, with the men coming very close to capturing them, but Elise successfully manages to escape. When they are out of danger, Frank asks her why it is all happening. Elise replies that everything is going on because she kissed him, and convinced the cops that he was Alexander Pierce. Pierce allegedly stole $2 billion from a criminal named Shaw, and is also wanted by the British government for tax cheating. Shaw is a dangerous man, who once famously killed the previous lovers of his wife, and when he found that she had too many, he killed her wife too. When asked by Frank why Pierce is taking on a man like that, Elise replies that it's just how Pierce is. He isn't scared by anyone. Frank, stunned by the revelation, insists that he has no regrets about kissing Elise. 
Elise apologizes for involving him in the first place, and manages to get Frank off the boat. Frank declares his love for her, to which Elise says they might have been together in a different world. She sails off as Frank watches on. After leaving Frank, Elise visits a government facility. She reveals herself to be a British spy and meets up with Acheson, a fellow British agent, who was among those following her in Paris. Elise was meant to be working undercover against Pierce, but she fell in love with him and had gone missing until now. She informs Acheson that she is ready to assist him in finding Pierce, since she does not want anyone else to be wounded. However, Acheson sees right through her, as he knows she is doing this because she is falling in love, with the American maths teacher Frank. Elise wears a wire to a ball that Pierce has invited her to. The same mystery gentleman from Paris hands her a letter. The letter is from Pierce, and it tells her where to find him. As Elise is about to leave, to find the person who delivered her the letter, as it might be Pierce, Frank appears and stops her. His love has led him here, and he would not let her go. They get up and dance. Elise, even though she likes Frank, lets him know that he is just a pawn in this whole operation. He was useful, and now he is not required. Frank however, is still insistent despite this. Agent Atchison's men grab Frank, while Elise searches for Pierce. They take Frank into custody, and after toying with him for a bit, let him know that he is to stay in custody until this whole operation is over. Later, Elise goes to the address instructed by the letter, via a boat. She is closely followed by Atchison. She stops the boat and enters a building. Unknowingly, she stumbles into a trap set by Gangster Shaw. Through a live feed, Atchison and his team watch, as Shaw starts to address Elise. He tells her that he would kill anyone who stole from him. Pierce was such a brilliant young man, according to Shaw, and when he stole from him, he took his soul. Now he would do anything to get it back. He declares, that unless she exposes the location of the safe, containing the money Pierce took from him, he will kill her. Elise replies that she does not know where the money is. Shaw physically assaults her, yet she does not budge. Atchison brings up his interpreter, who translates the Russian being spoken. The interpreter says that Shaw and his team plan to kill Elise, if Pierce does not show up. Even though he has snipers on Shaw, Agent Atchison refuses to take action, believing that Pierce will arrive to save her. When Shaw is about to kill her, a desperate Elise lets him know of the location of the safe. Upon opening the door to the safe, Shaw finds out the safe requires a code. He asks Elise, but she does not know the code. As Elise is threatened once more, Frank watches in dread. When Frank realizes that Atchison will not rescue Elise, he picks the lock on his handcuffs, and flees to assist her. Atchison is left frustrated. Frank then bravely impersonates Pierce. Elise pleads with him to stop, or he will be killed. Frank, impersonating Pierce, tells Shaw that he will get his money, if Elise is released and safe first. Shaw is first puzzled, since Pierce did not act anything like Frank did. However, he asks Frank to open the safe, which will prove that he indeed is Pierce. If he were to fail to do so, Elise would be killed. I love you, Elise says, as Frank acts as if he's about to unlock the safe. Before Frank could fully write the code for the safe, Chief Inspector Jones orders the police snipers to shoot Shaw. The snipers immediately shoot at Shaw and his guys, and Frank and Elise escape without injury. Agent Atchison can't believe Pierce didn't save Elise, as the cops assess the scene. Jones is furious with him for putting her in danger, and then notifies Elise that her suspension is lifted, and her employment is terminated effective immediately. Atchison receives a call that Pierce has now been apprehended. Elise and Frank embrace as the room clears. They both share an emotional moment. He inquires if she has feelings for both him and Pierce. Yes, Elise says. Frank replies that he might have a solution for her. In a rather big twist, and much to Elise's amazement, Frank proves that he is the genuine Alexander Pierce, by inputting the correct code for the safe. Pierce had undergone plastic surgery in order to start a new life. Meanwhile, the man suspected of being Pierce, tells authorities that he was paid to impersonate him, but that he is actually just a tourist. He had been receiving texts from an unknown person, who was sending him money to complete his tasks. Atchison is left dumbfounded. They return to the safe, where after blasting it open, they discover a banker's check for £744 million, the amount Pierce owed the British government in back taxes. Now that it was returned, Jones ordered Atchison to terminate the operation. Atchison argues that Pierce was still wanted by several countries. Jones replies that since the person he had stolen from, Shaw, was dead, there was no reason to continue pursuing him. Elise and Frank board a boat with the money, and are finally reunited. They set sail into the distant rivers, ready for a life together. The end. Thank you for watching. 
Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.